All right, Shalom, hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, the elect of Yahweh Shai. First and foremost, Kal Halal Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Double honor to the venerable apostles of the Great Millstone, GMS, alongside the elders and bishops that rule and teach Yahweh Shai well through the Spirit. As we are the true teachers for the nation of Israel on earth today, enough respect, peace, and salutations and blessings to the Achaean pushing this 100% gospel. All right, the world over, presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai's sake. Wa Adawan Ratazar, which means Lord willing. You know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. So I was going to touch on uh, this precept in the book of Acts, chapter five, verse twenty-nine through thirty-one. All right, so through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, this should be edifying. So Acts chapter five, verse twenty-nine. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey Yahweh rather than men. The power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom you slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a saviour, but to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Okay. So right here, we know that repentance is only for the Israelites. Okay. Because Yahweh Shai had to be that perfect, unblemished, all right, unblemished, sacrificial lamb, all right, for our nation, the Israelites, okay, so that we could be grafted back, all right, to Abanawa Yahweh, all right, so we could be grafted back to the Father, all right. So right now, yeah, we're in the temporal grace period, all right, we're under grace, you know. You know, it's just the opportunity to repent. We can repent. Okay. Now these are the seventeen heathen nations, right? Because the Lord didn't die for them. Right? They can't repent. The Lord's not dealing with these other heathen nations. The, they were not given the Lord's statutes and commandments. Alright. The Lord ain't dealing with these other heathens, okay? So Acts chapter five, verse thirty one. Him, right, Yahweh Shai, hath Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a saviour and to give repentance to Israel. And forgiveness of sins all right so there you go in fact we'll get another precept this is uh, matthew 1 <coughs> go straight to verse 20 but while he thought on these things behold the angel of the lord appeared unto him in a dream saying joseph thou son of david fear not to take unto thee mary thy wife for that which is conceived in her is of the holy spirit verse 21 and she shall bring forth a son and thou shall call his name Yahweh for he shall save his people, alright, the Israelites, from their sins. Alright. So there, there you go again. Alright, repentance is only for the Israelites. But we know the elect of the nation of Israel would understand this and repent. Okay. He died for the whole nation. Alright, but the elect on this side is who the Lord is dealing with. Alright, so again Double honor to the apostles of the Great Millstone. Lord willing, this lesson was encouraging and edifying and uplifting, especially for you new brothers and sisters coming in. Okay? So with that, I'm going to leave it there. Shalom. Shalom to the elect.